Okay, so this first um, session is about collecting like terms to simplify algebraic expressions. So each of these a's is a term in the expression. They are all like terms because they are all in a. So when we've got a plus a plus a, there are now three lots of a. When it's times, we can hide the times and write that as 3a. Now, it's only when we've got a letter times by a letter or a number times by a letter we can do that. If not, if we do it with numbers, 4 times 5 would be 45. Now, clearly, 4 times 5 is not 45, so we only do that when it's a letter and a number or a letter and a letter. So I'll take that off. In the next example here, we've got b add b add b. So, so far we've got three lots of b. Take away b, take away another b. So now we are down to one lot of b, which you may write as 1b. But when it's just one of them, we leave that as just b. In the next example, again, these are all like terms, just like in the previous two. Both terms are around, revolve around C. But we've got 2C add 3C. So 2C, that was the same as C plus C. 3C is the same as C plus C plus C. So altogether, we've got five lots of C. And again, we can hide the times and write it as 5C. Four is very similar. Again, all like terms. We've got 4D take away 2D. So... If we start with 4D, so that was D, add D, add D, add D. And then we are going to take away 2D. So we're taking away a D <coughs> and then another D. So D plus D plus D plus D was 4D. Take away D. Leaves us with 3D. Take away another D. We get 2D. Now, what you may have spotted in the previous two examples is when we did 2C plus 3C, we got 5C because 2 plus 3 is 5. When we did 4D take away 2D, we ended up with 2D because 4 take away 2 is 2. So we had 4Ds, took away 2 of them. So 4 take away 2 is 2. Let's use that on the next example. So 3e plus e. So we had 3e. Adding one more. So we're now we're on 4e. Take away 2e. 4 take away 2 is 2. So that leaves us with 2e. Now sometimes... Certain things might come up that confuse you. If we start doing question 6, 2f plus 3f is going to be 5f. But we've got to take away 8f. So we had five of them. We're trying to take away eight of them, and that's going to take us past zero. So we're going to end up with a negative, what we call a negative coefficient, or a negative number of f's. Five take away eight is negative three, so that becomes negative three f. In our next example, we have got two different sorts of term. We have got F, we have got G's, and we have got H's. So 
If I underline the G's, we are going to collect together all of the G's. So I've underlined those in blue. 4G plus 5G is 9G, plus G is 10G. So I'll write equals, and I've got 10G. If I collect together the H's, 4H take away 2H leaves us with 2H. So our answer is 10G plus 2H. When they are terms added together, we cannot simplify that any further. So the, the simplest form of this expression is 10G plus 2H. And we leave it like that. Let's have a look at the next example. Here we've got terms with I in them and terms with J in them. So those are the terms with I in them. 5i plus 4i is 9i. Then we've got terms with j in them, which I will highlight in orange. Minus 3j, take away another j. So if we go down one more j from minus 3j, we get take away 4j. So we now have 9i take away 4j. Again, these terms have different letters in them. And when they're added or subtracted, we can't mix them up. So simplified, question 8 gives us 9i take away 4j. Number 9, here we've got three different terms. We've got the terms with k in them. 6k take away 8k is negative 2k. We have a term that is just a number. That is the only one that is just a number. And we have a term <clears throat> with M in it. These terms are not like terms. That cannot be simplified any further, so we leave it like that. Typically, we would write them in a slightly different order. So we tend to, we could write 2K or we could start with 2M. And typically, the number would be the last thing to be written down. So I've written my letters in alphabetical order, and then the number last. <laughs> OK, so here are some examples for you to try. I'm going to pause for us a couple of seconds. So if you want to take a screen, if you want to pause the, um, <coughs> the recording, you can do and attempt these questions and press play again when you've made an attempt. OK, so I'm going to go through the first three questions in each of the three difficulty levels. So on the one star questions, A plus A plus A. So there were three lots of A, which can be written as 3A if we hide the times. B plus B plus B plus B. There are four Bs altogether. C plus C plus C, take away C. Hopefully, you got 2C. OK, moving on to the two-star questions. I will show you the rest of these answers after I've gone through the two-star and three-star questions. So the first one, 3A, add another A. So we have now got four A's altogether. 4C plus 2C is 6C plus another C is 7C. 3B plus 3B plus 2B. So 3B plus 3B is 6B. Another 2B. And we get 8B. Well done if you've got those correct so far. Moving on to the first three of the three star questions. 2A plus A is 3A. 
we've still got the 3B. The terms have different letters, so we do not mix them up. Simplified, we just get 3A plus 3B. If we look at the second one, 2A plus A is 3A. 2B plus 2B is 4B. So we get 3A plus 4B. Finally, at number 3, 3A plus 2A is 5A. 2C plus C is 3C. So 5A plus 3C. I'll now display the rest of 